All right, we are knitting Harry Potter, literally. We are doing this book, the second Harry Potter knitting book, and we're gonna be making the Golden Trio. Now this is a worsted weight pattern um, using US5 DPNs. I'm gonna be using the recommended yarn for most of it, which is Cascade 220. Um, the 100% Peruvian Highland wool. For the others, other colors that I couldn't find in store and I didn't want to order it, I got as close as I could and it's the Superwash version of Cascade 220. So I got suggested yarn mostly and suggested colors or close to it. And yeah, so we are knitting the golden trio because we can. So, uh, this tube, it's a tube, is hairy. <laughs> this is going to be a doll somehow. Um, I am finishing up the hair and then we reattach yarn and do the gown, their coat, cape thing. Um, and then we stuff it and um, wait, hold on. Okay. Oh, right. so then we stuff it from the bottom, stuff the head, stuff the body, Define the arms and legs, embroider the eyes, <laughs> and give Hermione some more hair. Oh, and they get scarves, too. Yes, so, um, this is gonna be a cute little doll. All right, so I have Harry done ish the stitching <laughs> the knitting on Harry is done I am about halfway through Ron and then we will make Hermione and do the finishing touches um, but the gown they call it a gown in the pattern but it's their wizard robes um, that took me an embarrassingly long time for my brain to figure out. Embarrassingly long for me. It was like 10 minutes. Anyway, so you have, you put in stitch markers when it tells you to, and you pick up the stitches on that row from stitch marker to stitch marker. Then you knit down. My brain had a hard time translating the instructions to the actual knitting bit. So, let me show you. It says, join color A to the right edge of the picked up stitches with doll held upside down. So you finish it, turn it upside down. You have three needles in with your stitches and then you attach the yarn. 
for some reason, my brain translated the right edge to right side and I was trying to pick it up starting on this side and knitting and you know it wasn't working because it wasn't the correct side. It took a little bit. My brain finally caught up with itself and you start on the left side when you are holding it upside down. Which is why I haven't cut and woven in woven in and cut the starting tail yet. So I can remind myself how to do it on the other two. <laughs> yeah. This is a um skill level of one lightning bolt, which is beginner easy. Yeah, which is a beginner pattern. And it really is very easy. It's literally just a tube with color changing stripes. And they're gonna be fun. These are gonna be fun little dolls. I'm gonna line them up right in a row. So yeah, finish Ron, make Hermione, finishing touches. And yeah, oh, scarves. They also need scarves. That's, that's part of the finishing touches. I'm going to continue working on Ron while listening to A Court of Mist and Fury. Yes, I am rereading Akatar because why not? And yeah, so let's get to work. I forgot. I need to write it down in my knitting journal. All right, so here's my new one. The The old one is um, completely filled. Every single page is a project. So this is new book. I have color coded the tabs because I can. <laughs> um, the green ones are ones that I was paid for. Um, red ones are the ones that are I'm still working on. Yellow is also the ones I was paid for because I ran out of green tabs. The blue is the start of the new year. And yeah, so I have a few projects. I need to put these in my notebook here. So um, let's do that. I'll show you how I do that. It'll be great. Okay. Come here. All right. So this is how I set up my knitting journal. I think I've briefly gone over this, but I'm actually going to show you how in real time. I put a K or a C, depending on if it's knit or crochet. This one is knit. I put the title of the pattern and where it came from. Dolls, and it came from this book. Hi, there's my scissors. Okay. Potter Knitting Magic. Um, this is actually the second book, but that's fine. And then I put the start date. So I started it yesterday, which is the 29th. Yes. 29, 20, 24. I haven't finished it yet. So the finished part is blank and then yarn. Okay. So these are the colors that they used. I have most of these, um, so I'm just going to pull out my tags from when I wound the yarn and do it this way. So this is normal Cascade 220. This one is Cascade 220 Super Wash. So we need to make sure that I write that down separately.
220 number eight five 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 all right so that's the black so this is a b is in this one all right so that is how i set up my knitting journal notebook thing when I finish it, I will write down my finish date. And I need to put a little tabby. Here's my little tabby. I am out of little tabbies. That's fun. Okay. So we are right here. Let's me know I am still working on that one. Along with these. Because I have no chill. Oh, this is from Rifle Paper Company. Because it is so pretty my husband actually helped me pick this one out i narrowed it down to like three choices and told him to pick a random one and he picked this one i think he did a good job so i like these notebooks because in the back got little pockets and it's just so cute okay back to knitting Um, they're done. Well, the knitting part is done. Actually, that's not true. They need scarves. <laughs> so next up is to make a small house scarf for each one and then do the finishing touches with stuffing and embroidery and giving them legs. Yeah, so let's do that. Three scarves. <laughs> 